Officers are going door to door in Cleveland, Texas, searching for any clues as to the whereabouts of Francisco Orpeza. He's accused of killing five of his neighbors, police say execution style, late last Friday night, after being asked to stop firing his rifle in his front yard so the baby next door could sleep. We do not know where he is. We don't have any tips right now to where he may be. Right now, we're, we're just uh, we're running into dead end. Officers believe Orpeza may have been in contact with friends after the shooting. But with his cell phone now recovered and the hours ticking by, officials say it's getting harder to track him down. An $80,000 reward is being offered for any information that leads to his arrest. All five victims were from Honduras and under the age of 32. The youngest was a nine-year-old boy. No tengo palabras como... His father, Wilson Garcia, says after confronting Orpeza about the gunfire, he came into the home and without saying a word, opened fire. We lost my nine-year-old son and my wife as well. And two people who died were protecting my two-and-a-half-year-old daughter and my one-month-old son. They protected him with a bunch of clothing so the murderer wouldn't kill him too. Officers say they had responded on multiple occasions to complaints about gunfire at Orpeza's home. Several reports saying Orpeza was in the country illegally and had been deported multiple times in the past. Well, it's kind of scary. I have kids. I have five kids. And it's, it is kind of scary. You never know where he can be, but I don't really think he will be here anymore. As the search continues, the victims' families on Monday were starting to plan their funerals. This latest mass shooting with an AR-15 style rifle comes as gun ownership in America approaches another record high with no let up in sight. Based on the number of federal background checks, the site guns.com reports more than a million gun sales a month for the past 43 consecutive months. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Austin, Texas.